I like getting up early in the morning, putting on my uniform, coming to work because people stop me and they ask me questions and you know, they talk to me and it's nice to be noticed. Well, my typical day starts at 4.30 in the morning. I leave out about 5.15 to catch a bus, to a subway, to a light rail. I think about everything that, that's going on in Baltimore from, from day to day. Baltimore's my home. I've been here all my life. I love it. Our vision at Flagger Force has always been to fulfill a greater purpose. We exist to make a difference. We believe what we do matters. Uh, that's temporary traffic control, but that's also being good stewards in the communities that we serve. And oftentimes we ask ourselves, what else can we be doing? There are over 5,000 returning citizens a year coming back to Baltimore City. And Living Classrooms is committed to partner with companies that want to work shoulder to shoulder with us so that we can help individuals be successful in the workforce and have a career for their future. So we've gotten involved with Project Serve through Living Classrooms and quite honestly, Project Serve has taught us a lot about the potential with workforce development. They had a need, as did we at Flagger Force. We needed full-time employees, people that wanted to find a career and they had folks that were looking for full-time employment so that they could re-enter the communities that they lived in. It was a natural partnership right from the start. Come out of incarceration, you want a job. That's the first thing you look for. We always tell people we don't offer jobs here, we offer opportunity. Project Serve works with uh, re-entry guys that's coming home from incarceration and people who are not incarcerated. Just someone just hard to find a job. It's accountability, uh, check and balance if you may. If they uh, miss a day, they have to call in and tell us why they're missing a day or what's going on. And we also work directly with the employer. So companies like Flagger Force that understand that are great partners for living classrooms. Flagger Force is filled with success stories all across our company. Uh, whether it's in the office or whether it's out in the field, we've had many people that have started with our company as a flagger and have gone on to open, you know, uh, branch locations in emerging markets or new markets for us. We were very impressed with the leadership of Flagger Force. Not only was there a desire to work with Baltimore City residents and to give folks a second chance, but also we were impressed with the, the Flagger Force team and, and how many of them had grown through the organization themselves and we could see that same kind of thing happening for the individuals that we were going to begin to provide for employment there. We had an interesting challenge with Living Classrooms and Project Serve because uh, most oftentimes it's a requirement for our employees to have a valid driver's license. It took us some time and some collaboration to recognize that in a metropolitan area like Baltimore we could leverage public transportation. And we've done that very successfully through this transport hub model that we've created together, uh, which made perfect sense for them. It made perfect sense for their re-entrance through Project Serve, and it made perfect sense for us because we could have a mentor or a leader sitting there waiting for them in a pickup truck to take them to the job site that day. Good morning, sir. How you doing today? Uh, how you doing, sir? Doing pretty good. For this to work, we needed mentors that were able to pick up the people every day, work with them every day, and really get to know them on a different level. Floyd has been here over five years. He's an advanced crew leader, and when I asked him to be a mentor, he was all for it. He was very excited. John Ramos um, called me, um, told me right that he had this project over the, um, you know, it's coming up soon, right? And so he wanted to know what I'm interested in. I told him yes. Timothy Robinson right, was a little nervous, you know, and you know, if he hadn't done this type of work before, he caught on quick. So we um, so we headed off too, just like that. And no complaint about him. He's good working, excellent work. He listened and he paid attention. I um, made him like um, Batman and Robin. The mentors love the program. It's really helpful because they do get to know each other. They get to know each other on a personal level and a work level. And I think it makes them able to perform better in the field. I had my family back in my life and we doing awesome. I do see myself 
still here with Flag of Force in a few years, I really do feel that I could build a career here at Flag of Force. We know that having full-time employment is really important for someone that's re-entering their community. And it's one small piece of uh, helping a person get their life back on track. A very meaningful piece of the training that we provide, the career opportunity that we provide. Uh, we think um, as that continues to perpetuate itself through this partnership, um, really has the opportunities to make a big impact on people's lives. So everybody deserves a second chance. You are not the same person you were 20 years ago, 30 years ago. When you can make one guy life better than what it was, and then that one person changed hundreds of other people's lives, you've done a great justice, a great justice.